He is the reason parents tell their children not to accept rides from strangers. 51 year old Michael Tarbert killed two Spokane girls nearly 25 years ago. Tonight he's on the brink of being released from prison. Nikki Wood and Rebecca West disappeared from their West Central neighborhood during a walk to a nearby mini mart. Because of a lack of evidence, Michael W. Tarbert was allowed to plead guilty to a pair of manslaughter charges and thanks to time off for good behavior has served out his sentence. KXY Force Jeff Humphrey joins us live at the Cops West substation that got its start in a frightened neighborhood reacted to the killings. Aaron, what happened to these girls made Spokane area parents put their kids' travels on a very short lease. It prompted the people who live here in West Central Spokane to want police officers actually stationed in their neighborhood instead of driving through. And worst of all, it forever robbed Spokane of its small town innocence. The 11 and 12 year olds should have been safe making a candy run to their neighborhood mini mart. Instead, somewhere along their short route, the girls ran into Michael Tarbert, who coaxed them into his car. Naomi Snyder was supposed to be on that faithful walk with him as well. I went back to my mom's and I said, Mom, can I please go with Rebecca West and Nikki Wood? And they said, No, absolutely not. You're not going anywhere. A mother's intuition spared Naomi a mother's worst nightmare. Nikki Wood was strangled. Rebecca West's body is never been found and now the man responsible for their disappearance is ready to get out of prison. I'm angry and bitter that he's getting out. He should have served life and to not know today for the family, the West family, to not know where their baby girl is, where she's at, where she at. It's just haunting them. Tarvert is most likely to be released back to Spokane, where he will be carefully monitored by the Department of Corrections. Because Tarvert allegedly told fellow inmates he killed the girls under the influence, he'll face drug testing. But Naomi worries no amount of community supervision will keep the community safe. The nature of the crimes of my best friends, yes, I believe in my heart, my soul, I believe he's going to reoffend. And it's going to even though Tarbert's earned release date was today, he has not yet started on his offender release program, something that takes into account where he would live, how he would earn a living, and how his daily activities could be best monitored by the Department of Corrections. But now, sooner than later, Tarbert could be roaming the same streets where he claimed those young victims. And Aaron, there is really not a whole lot that we can do to stop that. Reporting live in West Central Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.